Well, hello model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ral. And this week I'm going to feature Johan's Rebel the Machine. And this is a very popular uh, kit, especially for such an unusual car that is rarely seen. It amazes me that that many people know of this car and this model kit is so fairly well sought after and very popular uh, even after all of these years and that it's such an unusual kit and I, I think that's great and I, I love the kit but they're getting very expensive and very hard to find matter of fact I'll get into this one more but I featured the build here um, already and you guys have seen it but I, I got to point out a few things that were going on with this kit that I did um, that changed it from what's actually in the kit so this is this is pretty much what you would buy if you find one so I'll get into the contents of that but this one I, I joke around about this one's a, a waterlogged or a hurricane model because when I bought this one and I'll, I'll throw the box art picture again because it was a very moldy very waterlogged the box was crumbling the decals were ruined model kit but it was unbuilt and it was complete so I was really happy about that and I'm like, all right, I just need to get the decals and I can build it. And then, you know, a little bit of re-chroming. So, you know, I built, I built this one up. And it has uh, the stock tires, stock wheels. I mean, it's pretty much right out of the box as far as building this one goes. Um, but I'll get a little bit into the changes I did to the motor um, on it real quick if I can get this open. Here we go. And there goes the air cleaner. So let's... Uh, So if you remember, I added that under the hood, and then I put the single uh, four barrel on it and changed out the valve covers there. So there's uh, those parts I changed out. And then the front of the motor, um, the pulley and the water pump and the setup on there, those are all pretty much right from uh, the SC Rambler kit, which I'll show that box art. And same thing with this air cleaner here. And uh, so that's a bit more correct for the factory car. But we'll get into the contents of this kit here. Let's set that down. And it's pretty cool that it's actually steerable. A little low, but that's the, the way the kit's made. So here's what I got. And it was advertised to me. And I bought this on eBay. And it was supposed to be a mint kit, complete kit, and just a little bit of box wear. It's like, okay. And so I... I ended up going for it and I bid on it and here's what I got and it's I'm not complaining it's pretty nice kit and um, didn't really fight too much for it so it was a decent price but these don't come up too often and then we'll get into the box here an American and Hearst machine with special strip and street features which is pretty cool I love this box this art right here and of course and all the features 390 rebel twin four barrel carbs it says right there um, which you couldn't get it off the showroom floor that way special hood scoop mount attack Goodyear Daytona tires so pretty pretty cool stuff in there but when it comes to the kit so here's uh, one of the first things you're checking out chrome is actually really nice and in good shape but I noticed missing two wheels here now in the box is one more wheel and uh, so the chrome's in great shape and the grill's about to fall off or the bumper's about to fall off. But, you know, that's that's what you get right from right from them. Bumper, shifter, the stock wheels, the mirrors here, inside rear view mirror. Don't quite remember what that is at the moment. Um, the breather, the dual carbs alternator, and then those are the um, air cleaners or... Uh, uh, velocity stacks or whatever you want to call them for the the dual quad setup and the directions of course here's the decal sheet which I don't think that's very usable so it's in there but I did get another set from uh, Keith Marks right here so this is right from Keith Marks and all I really need are the machine decals right here because I don't plan to do the second one um, in the same library. I'm going to do a different color which is very rare. Most of them were in the, the red, white, and blue c color combo but I needed the decals anyway because uh, 
The original sheet here doesn't even have the machine decals. So you can see them right there. But still pretty cool nonetheless. These are better than the ones I got in my last kit. But still don't really look too usable. Not very well registered. I'll get to the body and those components here in a minute. And that. Here's the tires. They're halves. So you got to glue the tires together in halves. But these are the Goodyear Daytona tires. So upon first inspection, you get one of these kits. You think, oh, I got two sets of tires. No, you didn't. And if you're watching eBay photos and you only see one of these, realize that's not all four tires. That the fourth one is in the box. The missing half. But it's down below. But anyway. Now here's the famous hood scoop. The rear valance, the battery, the axle swing mounts. Here's the tack. That's what that is. And then the firewall or radiator support. Um, all those are good parts. And here's uh, the AMC 390 engine and one of the axle tubes, the starter, another carburetor, coil, and then the alternator setup, which uh, uh, it's all fairly good stuff. There's the firewall. And no axle hole in this one. So, kind of cool. Although I don't remember. Yeah, there's, it's got pins. There's no axle going through the engine on this one. Most of them have the axle going through. Here's the dash. Which is molded really nicely. I'm not quite sure of the accuracy on this, but it's pretty darn close. Here's the front suspension. There's the disc brakes. And then I uh, believe those are the drums. But the wheel back, wheel backs, that's for the disc brakes. There's, hopefully there's another one in there. Radiator, brake booster. Here's the dual quad cross ram intake, which is not really a factory part, but it is and it's not. Um, didn't come on the car when you bought it from AMC. But this intake was available as a racing option and a group 19 part. So I do plan on using this and I'll put it on the kit and uh, build it with this because I don't want to you know, change out another one. Plus I just want to make them a little bit different with different versions. And there's the steering axle and the steering tie rods. And then right there's the, um, those are actually supposed to be the springs. So not the greatest right there. Here's the rest of the engine parts, the fan, oil pan, uh, filter, alternator, exhaust manifolds, but these valve covers, these center bolt valve covers, these are like 66 and earlier. These really should not be on this kit. So these are wrong. I'm going to have to change those out. I've been tempted to leave them, but you know, they're just so, so wrong for the car. I got to change it. And that's just, it's kind of funny that that bothers me, but the chassis is okay, but I'll get to that in a minute. So that's just me being particular. I want the, the motor a little bit more accurate than that, but you know, if I didn't know about the other valve covers, I would just leave them, but uh, I'm going to do that on this one. And another thing, this was my taillights. Oh yeah, the taillights are there. No, they're not. This is just the sprue they mount to. So I'm missing taillights or was missing taillights. Here's the steering wheel. You know, typical AMC steering wheel. It's pretty cool. This one isn't quite as detailed as the ones you'd find in the Javelin kits um, because the circles aren't there, but still it's, it's there. And then of course the hood with the uprights and then you cut the hole out here for the uh, carburetors. But that's why I would kind of put that piece under that one to clear it to the air grabber, kind of hide that and then also um, seal to the air cleaner. Here's that tire that I was missing. The wheel back, so I'm not missing that, thankfully. I don't know if I can handle any more missing parts. Because some of this stuff is getting really hard to get. Here's uh, the third wheel, so I'm missing the fourth wheel, and the chrome is chipped off of this. So, in my honest opinion, I'm betting somebody took uh, both, both wheels and swapped in this one with the chrome chipped off. But, don't really know but thankfully through you know friends missing link makes these so Kevin provided these for me and I, I called or not called him up message him and said 
hey, I got another one of those kits and I need another set of those wheels. And I was thinking about putting something else on, but he's got some beautiful wheels chromed and all ready to go. So Kevin Lutz, you know, thank you. This is this is where they are and what they're going on, in case you were wondering, but I know you, you don't worry about me too much. But um, so there's those. So I was able to get the wheels. And then last one, another friend that uh, through Facebook, Mark Nellis. He actually makes taillights for a lot of these vintage kits, MPC and Johan. And uh, so he made the taillights. So contacted him up also and said, hey, I, uh, I know you were making them. Are you still making them? And he's like, yes, of course. Um, I've got a pair made up, actually, so you don't have to wait, and I'll send them. So I got my taillights. So I got everything I need to build this. So, you know, three purchases, Keith Marks decals, Missing Links wheels, and uh, Mark Nellis. Uh, through uh, Facebook got me the taillights so I got everything I need to build and complete this model kit and uh, thankfully and of course here's the instructions which uh, if you've seen Johan kits before the instructions kind of you know they're, they're they're nice they're not bad at all but you know there's the instructions and points out and you know, like I said that's the spring the axle lowering blocks which I didn't change anything on them and it sits pretty low as it is pretty simple and easy to build here so the last thing is show you the the body and the chassis now this thing is a beautiful beautiful body very nice it's got a really bad sink mark right here which uh, I don't believe was on that one and then it's got a couple of sink marks right here too and you can see them in the shine right there and then there's the AMC badge right here it's got a little bit of a there's a mold line, a little bit of dirt on there, but a couple of things to fix. This side's really nice. I might have to foil cast that emblem to put back on this side if I can't save it by filling that in, but I think it's just right on the edge there where I can do that, but the body is not damaged. So I'm really happy about that. So we'll set that down. Here's the, the really simple interior tub with the buddy seat. I like the fact that it actually has the buddy seat in it. But really simple uh, interior tub, typical of uh, Johan. And then here's the chassis, which this is just so many levels. This is just wrong. You know, one the single exhaust pipe, and it's it's molded in, but it's a single exhaust pipe. But this axle assembly with the the torque tube setup, um, I forget when AMC actually stopped using that, but it was. Definitely not used on this car. So I think this is, you know, most of this tooling probably, you know, dates back to 66 or 65. Um, so it's definitely not accurate for the real car. But it's what is provided, and there really isn't another car to get this stuff from, uh, to swap it over. You can kind of piece some stuff together. But I'm like, well, it's it's what it, we have and what's provided. So I went ahead and just, uh, like on this one, just detailed it and just painted it and just you know, picked out the exhaust and did what I can with the engine and tranny but I pretty much left the the chassis plate alone and and built it as is but um, uh, she still builds up really nice and presents really well on the shelf so all these parts will uh, uh, get used and and built up but uh, I plan on doing this one in a, a different color I don't know if it's gonna be uh, marine um, you know, there's a marina like blue, there's a uh, like a dark cherry red that I've seen, and there's even a green that I've seen. And then the hood, instead of being blue like on this one, it's actually black. So I think I'll do the, the hood in black and pick one of those colors and put the machine um, logos on it, which, you know, that was a factory option. But the first ones came in this color, and there was people saying they wanted they wanted the car, but they wanted uh, less uh, attention-grabbing paint scheme. So they started offering the machine and other colors. So uh, that's uh, my plans with this kit. But I figured I would show you and, and give you an idea of uh, what's actually in the kit, what you get. And so if you're searching out one of these kits, um, what to look for and what to look in the box to you know, in any of the pictures or questions to ask, because you really can't get. Um, any of these parts other than finding another kit that's being parted out and even that's getting expensive even though there's more people doing that on eBay and I like that they're doing that because it helps me buy individual parts but it costs a lot more money but chrome's all there and 
pretty much everything I need to build it is, is here. And thankfully the, the missing parts, the wheels and the taillights uh, are provided from a few other people. So thank you for tuning in, subscribing and watching. And, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'd appreciate it. And all of your comments, really appreciate them. And you guys, you have a wonderful Saturday and I'll see you next weekend.